Hello friends, today we will try to make a capacitor, more of a capacitor batteries, more of a capacitor batteries because carbon carbon batteries these are all, this will initially there will be volt that will be around 0.3 volt initial and charging it will attain around 2 volt from 1.7 to 2 volt it will attain. So this will try to make it for this, this is a single cell you can see I will show you, this single cell. Here we are going to use, instead of carbon plates, I have made this polyester bags we have made, polyester bags. Like this I have to make, I have planned to make uh, 6 cells. So each cell we have, will, we require not 2 to electrodes, flexible carbon bags we will make it. So this kind of bags I have already sealed and made it ready. So this we have to fill it with carbon, then finally as an electrode we will insert this and seal it here. So this becomes single single electrodes, carbon electrodes. So inside filled with carbon and graphite powder. Then we will place it like this inside. So opposite one. So similarly for this we require 12 individual bags. So all this we will we'll make it ready. Then 12 carbon rods we require. Then carbon powder, graphite powder mix. Then for the Positive, we require little little amount of uh, manganese oxide, then traces of lead and cobalt oxide. This I will show you step by step how to prepare. These are all first requirements. This all we have to make, keep it ready. These bags, then this uh, container. This how this is a single cell. I am just showing you single cell. This will be the positive and negative. Once you charge it, it will give current. We will be seeing how to make step by step process ok friends first i will show you how to fill the carbon graphite mix equal equal quantity in each uh, negative electrodes this is a flexible carbon bag so i am going to fill with carbon this is a polyester bag filter bag already sealed like this i have shown you able to see ceilings all this we make it we can do it this is a carbon rod so we will start filling it smallest tubes will be better spoons will be better you can fit it like this able to see it ok friends this is how we will fill it because to buy a carbon plate it will be costly and in local nobody manufactures carbon plates here so with the available ingredients we can make ourselves because we have carbon graphite borders available, carbon black borders available, this polyester cloth is available, filter cloths which have been used for vacuum motors, vacuum cleaners, no there. So we are filling it. See that see that is finely filled. The bags are finely filled because it has to be conductive. The better compressed, better con conductivity. So we leave some space on the top to seal it or to give some adhesive and finally like that. Okay friends, this is how I am going to repeat for the other 5 negative electrodes. This one I prepared. We will keep it there. Again the second one. This is all carbon graphite rods. Which is uh, which I have taken from the used batteries. It is not available as such. These rods are not available. Only through used batteries we have to collect it. So now I am filling all this. We are able to see particles. So this becomes a flexible carbon electrodes. Because we are replacing the carbon plates carbon plates are still better it will be still better the space required for the batteries will be still small you can make so thin batteries you can make it with the available materials no we are making it that's all so now i have filled it like this we make the other four okay friends i'll i'll make all like this 
six numbers this is called negative electrodes then for the other positive electrodes i have to add similarly same in this we'll add little amount of manganese oxide traces of lead and cobalt oxide after adding same same procedure filling and i'll fill it then finally we'll make this closed so this become a electrode this we have to insert here okay two two electrodes we have to insert finally we have prepared these are all the negative negative electrodes it contains mixture of pure carbon and graphite so there are some openings are there that also will close it fine nice you able to see the sealing this i sealed it so this opening also using some adhesive we can close it so this becomes a negative electrode using this polyester fiber cloth bags similarly positive i have added extra what we added carbon black graphite equal plus equal amount of manganese oxide then traces of lead oxide and cobalt oxide similarly i filled and sealed on the top you able to see this then we finally seal properly this similarly i have made all, all this total six electrodes are positive six here as negative this will club together in this as negative positive like that then finally we assembled the negative electrode six numbers you able to see six numbers negative electrodes just to differentiate between positive and negative i have put a tape blue color as negative and the positive as the red color as the positive negative continuity i put copper wire on the top and tied it so that now our job will be to take one negative one positive like this and insert in the container i already placed some asbestos no for the tailor to hold and get absorbed so now i have to nicely insert this after inserting all the cells and inserting on in all the three six cells now i'll show you okay finally all the six cells arranged we are able to see negative positive then after positive comes negative so i want to make connected in series so ultimately this will negative this will be the positive this terminal we will take it and charging we'll see how much it whether it is 10 volt or 12 volt whatever the added voltage we'll see this is the now final assembly of the so called capacitor batteries because only carbon electrodes are there negative and positive both are carbon then the electrolyte will be here i am going to use 4 molar zinc chloride zinc chloride dissolved in water 4 molar after filling we we'll see how to charge and see what is the voltage it generates how long it retains then finally i will try to close all this so make it as a as a one battery or one capacitor battery call it as okay four molar zinc chloride i have prepared using water and zinc chloride powder it's a delicacy powder so i add it gives liberates heat after keeping for some 5 minutes 10 minutes it will become clear now this will fill carefully these individual cells so that they are fully filled and after saturation we will see what is the initial voltage generates after charging what will be the voltage able to give output that is called capacitor it can give up to some 5 10 minutes whatever the practically we will see it now we added the electrolyte zinc chloride formula i see what is the the basic volt it is able to give 0.27 volt so this i am going to charge in front of you using 4 volt and i am externally okay i am going to charge it i'm going to charge it and see what is it Yes, I'm charging it. I've charged it using four volt DC. We'll see what is the volt it does. Okay, attend. You're able to see one point eight three. Similarly, I'm going to see this is the second cell. 
how much it is 0.3 of the charging similar like this it will be see 1.8 1.7 slowly it will uh, reach up to 2 2.1 so this similarly i'll charge it and see how the cells are working then i'll close it and give serious and serial connections and see what is the final output electrodes are there no metal electrodes only carbon powders so after charging it attains that current so it is liberating those voltage charged voltage so this can be clubbed with the regular batteries to prolong the mileage of the electrical vehicles okay so limit for this because there is no metal electrodes to get corroded nothing else so totally carbon and carbon powders are there so only thing electrolyte that can withstand any number of cycles this is the advantage so we able to see the voltage after charging with 12 volt it is around 9.4 still it will go better depend on the saturation it will still attain better so it is around 9.3 we will connect the motor and see how far it is running so i connected the motor It is running in 9.1, 9.2 volt. It is only a capacitor battery. I will charge it all over so it will retain the current and it is supplying it to you. It is very useful for prolonging the shelf life of the parent battery. So you can go better mileage for the e-vehicles. It is also endless shelf life. You can recharge it for any number of times. It will not uh, lose its recycled capacity ok friends if you like this video kindly click the button share to others kindly subscribe thank you